Welcome to the Virtual DJ Getting Started series. In this video, we'll show you how and where to access the settings window of Virtual DJ, explain the different tabs and what they offer, and how to change various settings and provide a few examples. So, let's get started. Virtual DJ is extremely flexible and most of these customization features are found in the settings area. Now it's very important for you to become familiar with the settings area so you can configure for controllers and sound cards, set up your preferences, and change the look of Virtual DJ to your liking. To access the settings window, click on the gear icon which is located in the top section of the skin. Once the settings window is open, you can see tabs located on the left hand side which allow you to access the different areas. The first First tab is the tutorial tab. Here you can find various informational walkthroughs including how-tos, tip of the days, and other helpful videos about virtual DJ. The audio tab is where you can configure your sound routing options. The upper quick setup area allows you to change to different modes, select different sound cards, and quickly create inputs. Additionally, if you have any one of the over 300 supported controllers connected, virtual DJ will display a box with a controller name that you can click on to quickly configure for the proper sound card routing for that particular controller. Below the quick settings area is the advanced routing area where you can specify a specific sound card driver and channels that Virtual DJ will use for all outputs and inputs. Additionally, you can save any of your sound card routings as a preset for quick recall in the future. The interface tab is where you can select different skins which will change the look of Virtual DJ. To change to a different skin, simply click on a selection that is available. Now clicking on a plus next to a skin will expand and show different variations that you can load. There are literally Literally hundreds of available skins that you can download and install for Virtual DJ through the Extensions tab, and we'll show you that shortly. Below the Interface tab is the Controllers tab. Here you can create custom keyboard shortcuts and alter any mappings for controllers that you have currently connected. Now changing your current mapping is as easy as selecting the control that you wish to change, then typing or selecting the new action script. Virtual DJ will then save this as a new mapping profile. You can also quickly recall this new mapping profile or change back to the factory default one via the mapping drop-down box. Next is the Options tab. It is here where you can change hundreds of different options which allow you to customize almost every Virtual DJ feature to match your preference and DJ workflow. Finding and changing options is as simple as typing in the search bar what you are looking for, and Virtual DJ will then show all options that pertain to your search. The License tab is where you connect Virtual DJ in order to unlock any purchased licenses or subscription services. Since Virtual DJ no longer uses serial codes, it is here where you add and manage your licenses and your content subscriptions. To connect, simply click on your connection method and the credentials required to connect. Additionally, you can purchase licenses and subscription services directly directly from this tab. The Extensions tab will allow you to add skins, effects, samples, and other add-ons directly from inside Virtual DJ. Once you find an add-on that you want to install, simply click on the Install button and Virtual DJ will handle the rest. Now there are many add-ons to choose from and more are being uploaded by the community frequently, so make certain to check this tab often. The Broadcast tab is where you set up for streaming your mixes live over the internet. The video section will offer settings for connecting to Facebook, YouTube, Periscope, or other popular social media sites. You can also choose to stream audio to your Virtual DJ profile page, setting up for professional radio servers using IceCast or Shoutcast protocols, and also for personal podcasts. The Record tab allows you to configure recording options for both your audio and video mixes. Here you can specify where Virtual DJ will record to and the format and quality of your recordings. And finally, we have the Remote tab. This tab allows you to set up Virtual DJ to allow any iOS or Android mobile device to connect via our remote application that can be downloaded from the Apple App Store or Google Play Store. As you can see, knowing your way around the settings area is important as you can change and customize almost every facet of the software right from this window. This video only highlights some of what you can do and we encourage you to have a look at our online manual if you want to learn more. That'll do it for this Getting Started video. Be sure to check out our other videos in this series as you get to know your way around Virtual DJ.